What's good, Josh Boy Ross? Back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out how these WWE fans got kicked out. There are times where WWE fans jump that barricade and and they just I don't really know what goes on in their head to be honest with you. They just jump the barricade and all hell is breaks breaks loose. Usually for them. So we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support, man. Don't be one of these fans that jump the barricade or do something reckless to get yourself kicked out. Don't do that, man. Let's do this. These WWE fans did some crazy and stupid stuff that got them kicked out of the show, or even worse. After a live broadcast of SmackDown went off the air, Randy Orton teamed up with The Revival for a post-show match. A fan in the front row started shouting at Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson and actually spit at them. The Revival and Orton taunted the fan a bit until a security guard came. The man was escorted out of the building, but since SmackDown was off the air, he didn't really miss much. WrestleMania 37- Wow, nah, bro. We, we, we would've had, bro, you spit on me. Fuck all that. We're gonna have to run it. We're gonna have to run it. Like, you spit on me, bro. We just gonna have to run it. I'm gonna have to take that lawsuit. I'm gonna beat the brakes off you. I'm gonna just beat the brakes off you, bro. I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat your ass. Vince may be mad, <laughs> or Triple H may be mad since Vince is gone, but hey, right, Trips, nigga spit on me. I don't play that. I beat his ass. <laughs> Evan was infamously delayed due to bad weather. One fan was not happy about this and started going on a rampage in the stadium. WWE had cardboard cutouts to help fill the arena and this guy was so mad, he started ripping them apart. What? Security had the guy kicked out and he ended up missing the show he was so upset had gotten delayed. In 2018, Bro, when it, if the weather's bad, they're not about to go out there and wrestle. If it gets delayed, it gets delayed. I'm sorry, but you being doing that, now you out, now you can't go. You can't get your money back either. Stupid. WWE was still very big on Roman Reigns and wanted fans to like him. However, this only made people hate Roman more, yep. and they made sure to let WWE know. During one episode of Raw, a fan gave Roman Reigns the finger as well as crotch chops. This was apparently too much, and the arena security kicked the man out. As he was leaving, it looked like the man said something to another fan, causing them to get into a bit of a fight. Whoa. Luckily, nothing serious happened, and the anti-Roman Reigns fan had to make do with giving crotch chops from his TV. I don't know why, I mean, giving someone the middle finger and the cross shot, I mean, that's, to me, I don't know if that warrants getting kicked out. I mean, that's, that's fine. I, the gestures of the, the middle finger and the cross, I don't think that's warrant getting kicked out. Me, personally. What we seen with the ECW crowd, I, it, that definitely doesn't warrant getting kicked out, but. I guess. On an episode of 205 Live, Kalisto teamed up with Grand Metalik to take on Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher. The match ended in disqualification when Kendrick and Gallagher disobeyed the rules and started beating up both luchadors. Unfortunately for Kalisto, someone else had it out for him. A fan threw a water bottle at Kalisto's head Whoa. while he was lying on the floor. It might not seem that bad, but Kalisto cut his lip because of the attack. Thankfully, Whoa. the fan was found and kicked out of the arena. This fan did way more- What the fuck? Damn, that's wild. More than just get kicked out and got arrested for oh, what yeah, he did. Clip, During yeah. a live episode of Monday Night Raw, Seth Rollins that. attacked Finn Balor and the two got into a fight. Rollins got the better of Finn and was ready to end it there. Unfortunately, a fan slipped past security and managed to tackle Seth Rollins yep. on live TV. WWE staff immediately jumped in and got the attacker off Rollins. Not only was the man kicked out of the building, but he ended up getting arrested and faced several charges for the attack. At a non-televised WWE, yeah, man, you can't be doing that, bro. Because at that point, you you jump that barricade, you're going to find out real quick. These punches, you about to get some real stiff punches. I'm, th that's just what it is, man. You never know what someone has on them. So, hey. The show in 2015, Bray Wyatt took on Rowan Reigns in the main event. The fans were really getting into the match, especially one who was holding a replica of Money in the Bank briefcase. The crowd then started encouraging the fan to throw the briefcase. Throw the briefcase in! Cash it in! The fan did just that, and the briefcase hit Roman Reigns oh. in the head. Authorities quickly located the man, but it looked like a fight started to break out. While the security took care of the situation, the other fans changed their tune and started chanting for the briefcase thrower to be kicked out. That's funny how they changed. They threw the briefcase and hit him in the head, and now it's like, kick him out. Kick him out now. <laughs> 
After Raw had gone off the air, Randy Orton and John Cena had a tag team match against Edge and Sheamus. Randy and John won the match, and a girl in the audience wanted to celebrate with them too. The female fan went over to Cena, and it seemed like she wanted to talk to him. Security had other plans and got the woman away from John I think Cena. I've seen this the one, girl yeah. fought to stay in the ring, yeah. but the guards weren't having any of it and got the crazy fan. <laughs> I think I remember seeing this because she wanted a piece of John Cena. <laughs> back over the barricade where she belonged. If you bring a sign to a WWE show, be careful what it says because it might get you kicked out. In 2017, allegations of bullying were made against WWE commentator JBL. Uh -huh. A fan decided to use his voice and brought a sign to a SmackDown event that read, JBL bullied me. Either the man oh. refused to give up his sign or WWE didn't give him a chance because the fan was ejected from the arena. Now you have yep. to admit, this was a bit ridiculous on WWE's part. In 2017, fans began bringing beach balls yeah. to WWE shows. At first, the company liked it, but they eventually changed their tune. A mm. fan in an episode of Raw was kicked out for throwing a beach ball during the show. It probably didn't help that he was wearing a CM Punk t-shirt as well. And even Yeah, because especially if there's a match going on, I forgot. I think it was, correct me if I'm wrong, it was a Monday night after Raw, I believe. And I, I not Raw, it was a Monday night after uh, uh, um, WrestleMania, I'm not sure which one. I remember, I think Cesaro and Sheamus was in a match or whatnot. I don't know if it was a tag match, but I, I don't think the fans were, I don't know if the fans were into it or whatnot, but somebody was throwing a beach ball. So Cesaro got out the match, got the beach ball, ripped it up, and then went back to the match. Because it's like, if you're throwing a beach ball, you kind of don't care what's going on in the ring. So I understand why Cesaro had did it. But it, I do believe that was after a WrestleMania. Correct me if I'm wrong. Crazier moment was when a father and his son were playing with a beach ball. Security caught them and ended up kicking the man and his child out of the WWE show. That's sad that a kid had to be thrown out for having too much fun. While WWE was against beach balls, yep, John Cena go. was the complete opposite. The leader of the Cena Nation got on the mic after a show to say how he loved seeing the fans have having fun. There's a few security guards out there that I'm not too fond of. The reason I want to address those things for real is because I love when an audience has fun. WWE doesn't always get upset when people have fun. Fans have done some absolutely hilarious things at WWE shows. See those by watching this video. Oh man, this is great, bro. This was a good one. Definitely uh, it's one of those scenes where it's like, I don't, it suggests fans um, go out there and jump the barricade, you know, even with the signs, if you're signed, you know, you're going to be on a hard cam side or a side where there's going to be a lot of cameras and your sign is just like real obscene and really kind of tastes like it's not in good taste, bro. Like you're being an ass or pointing out some messed up situation, man. Hey, don't be that person. Don't be that person. Cause nine times out of 10, they're going to kick you out. So, uh, but yeah, comment down below. Let me know. Have any of you guys been to a wrestling show? It doesn't matter when it could have been an attitude error, ruthless aggression error, even today. Have any of you guys been into a, 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 a wrestling show and you brought a sign? You know, and what sign did you make? Let me know if you made a sign, brought it to the show. Was it seen on camera? Was it not seen on camera? Let me know down below if you've ever been one of those people to bring signs to a wrestling show. But I appreciate all love and support. Row 2. Honey K, appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.